Okay, this is uh, Mohamed Azonku. I want to present our work, which is about digital twin assisted controlling of AGVs in flexible manufacturing environments. In this work, we are trying to uh, create the model of the factory floor by using AGVs. And then uh, by connecting the model to the actual system, we can have digital twin. But it's something similar for other components in a factory, uh, in a manufacturing environment. For example, we modeled uh, the conveyor belt system and generate digital twin for that in our last work. You can see the um, you know, reference for that here in the bottom of the uh, page. And okay, just let me. Use laser pointer. Okay, here I mean. Here we can see the long-term research goals in our, uh, you know, research group. We are trying to uh, generate digital twin for flexible manufacturing environment to track work pieces. Uh, so we wanna develop a chain of software tools to uh, create this process, I mean, uh, digital twin generation as automatic as possible. So for generation of digital twin in automatic way, we need to consider these five steps. We need to extract data, uh, create intermediate, for example, graph model uh, for a component, uh, make connection between that, comp uh, that model and a real system to create a digital twin. And by connecting digital twin for different components, we can have comprehensive digital twin for whole <clears throat> factory color. And after that, we can, uh, you, know, uh, you know, have uh, received some benefits from digital twin by running the added value services on top of digital twin. So, here, um, in this uh, presentation, I just want to uh, pre present our current work, which was about uh, generation of uh, digital twin for a uh, map of factory floor. We want to create the model for the factory floor by using the data that we can receive from the AGVs. And yeah, we want to consider these approaches. And uh, the scope of this work is using aging in all factory of the future. And now we can receive uh, the pictures like this from the uh, from AGVs. For example, this is for MU100. Uh, we can uh, have these pictures and uh, in the future we want to do something by image recognition uh, to uh, extract machine readable model for the factory floor. At the moment we are doing uh, and we are creating uh, the model of the factory floor uh, manually, but in the future, we want to make this step uh, automatic. Then uh, we can generate the growth model of the factory floor, the zone uh, based uh, model for the factory floor, by uh, considering this uh, descriptive model. If you have the borders, if you have, for example, um, the information about the obstacles in the uh, environment, then we can generate the graph model for that environment, which denotes in, uh, this, mo uh, this model can show the zones and the edges, can show the connection between uh, zones. Um, okay, and here you can see the layered based architecture we considered uh, for. Uh, our AGV to show and evaluate our work. We considered uh, this layered based system, for example, uh, the second control layer, first control layer, and the digital twin can work together to provide some uh, you know, efficient maneuver for AGV. Uh, uh, this part is only for proof of concept and evaluation of the work, and that's not very innovative. Here we can see the graph model of the factory floor. Uh, 
This is the IgGNC matrix for the growth model of the site to cellula, and we can consider uh, all the components, all the, for example, uh, obstacles, all the uh, AGVs and uh, you know equipment in a factory cellula. Uh, for two different control layers, we consider simple approaches. For example, for second control layer, we consider uh, to just try algorithm for finding the shortest path, and also consider we consider kind of uh, simple weighting algorithms for uh, collision avoidance. And here also we implemented this state diagram for uh, you know the maneuver uh, between and also transition between zones uh, for AGVs. Here you can see the uh, you know implemented system. Um, actually, this uh, blue line shows the direction of AGV number two toward its goal or destination. And this red line is, uh, you know, a path uh, for AGV number one uh, toward its destination. And also we have similar, uh, you know, green line, green arrow for AGV number two. So uh, the, the priority here can be considered uh, with numbers. For example, number one, AGV number one has the, uh, you know, highest priority. And also after that, we can consider priority for AGV number two and then AGV number two. So here you can see when AGV number one and number two, they go to uh, this area. I mean, I mentioned that area, the collision area with a um, yellow uh, marker. Uh, you can see the AGV number two stop before the uh, collision area and uh, AGV number one is passing the collision area. So after that, after uh, AGV number one passed the collision area, AGV number two can continue uh, its, uh, you know, a journey toward destination. Also, we have similar thing here for AGV number two and AGV number two. You have another collision area. Uh, you can see AGV number two and number three can uh, you know follow similar uh, approach number two because of a uh, higher pro priority can pass the collision area first and after that agent number two can uh, go to uh, collision area. Here in the left side uh, we have the zone uh, you know uh, based show for our AGVs, for our um, model, uh, factory solo model. And we can see which AGV equipped where or the obstacle located in which position. Okay, uh, that's it. And thank you very much for your consideration.